Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a get ready with me. I am just gonna start out all natural. Let's just get started. I use my makeup basket that I've chosen for the week and I use some of the products and let's get going because this needs some work. So I'm gonna start with a primer. I'm gonna be using the No Pore Blem Primer from Touch and Soul. I got this in a, from Ulta. Um, they actually had it on sale. I don't know if it still is, but this is my first time using it. So let's see how it goes. It's very nice, like not thick like the professional, but thicker than like a liquid. It's like a gel, but oh, it feels really nice on the skin. Well, so far, I like the feel of it. I have already done my sunscreen, obviously skincare, so it's been about 30 minutes, so that's really sunk into my skin. I think I have figured out my lighting, and I don't know if I like it. You can see every flaw. Let's just keep going. So as you can see, I do have redness on my cheeks. I have some acne scarring down here. I don't have any active acne, but I do have scarring um, around my mouth. And then just forehead, forehead, <laughs> and then wrinkles on the forehead. So I like the way that definitely felt on my skin. It looks really nice. My cheeks especially look really nice. Oh, even right here looks really like smooth. Uh, nothing's gonna smooth out my chin, let's be real. But I am really liking it. So let's keep going. The foundation that I chose to use this week is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place. I have had this for year, or I've been using it for years. This is my absolutely favorite full coverage foundation. I been using the pretty or had used the pretty vulgar foundation it was so heavy and cakey on my skin and it made me think that maybe I'm just not used to wearing full coverage foundation I haven't worn full coverage foundation in quite a while so I thought I would give this a try see if I have that same problem and maybe it's not necessarily the foundation that's making that looks terrible it's my tastes have changed. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna try this out. I did wear this yesterday and really liked the way it came out. So let's, I just put a little bit on the back of my hand, really just one pump. And then I'm using a beauty blender to get this on. Looks like the color's not a good match, but I think once it's blended in, it really is. So, God, this foundation is just so gorgeous. I mean, it took all my red away. I don't get that cakiness on my upper lip that I was getting with the Pretty Vulgar. I don't know. I really want to like that foundation. So many people that I watch love it. So I feel like something is wrong with me. <laughs> like, why isn't it working for me? And I, I keep thinking maybe I haven't found the right powder or the right um, primer with for to use with it, and maybe that's the problem, but I don't know. I am just, I love this foundation. This, I will always repurchase when I run out. I just think it is so gorgeous. Plus I feel like it lasts longer. Does it have expiration? Even if it did, I know I've used it past it and it still works good, still smells good, still works like it used to or, or you know, like it always has. I love it. It is definitely a full coverage foundation, but I think it is beautiful. Okay, let me, what do I wanna do? I'm not using any cream products. Let me do, let me do concealer. So I'm just using, again, my J.Cat Beauty in Vanilla Bean. here it looks like it's gonna be very brightening but I swear it doesn't I don't feel like it looks totally bright I don't know <laughs> maybe it will 
I've kind of got out of the habit, like I've mentioned before, of using an eye primer. I kind of just take this on my lid and blend it out, you know, or set my, my lids, <laughs> I'm saying. All right, I've done that. Now I think I'm going to set my, my powder. I'm going to set my face before I do anything else. And I'm just using my Clinique Super Powder Double Face Makeup in Matte Ivory. I'm actually getting kind of sick of this. I know, it's shocking. But I'm going to actually try doing it with a brush because it's something different. My camera is getting ready to die. I swear it happens whenever I like film a lot of videos and then I don't change the battery and then I, you know, go to film another day and it's already almost dead, but I don't remember that I used it a lot. Anyways, I wish batteries lasted a lot longer. And this one is kind of a pain because I have to like take it completely off my tripod to charge it, the battery, take the battery out to charge it. And it, I, I mean, it's not really a complaint, but it is. <laughs> All right, hopefully I'll have enough time. Let's do my bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using is the Laura Mercier in Ritual. I've had this for quite a while. I'm not sure if you can still get it. I'm trying to go through my bronzers, but really all my makeup and figure out what I want to keep and what I like that works or what I'm holding on to that I just don't use. And this is a product that I really don't use very often, so I'm giving it a full week to try, figure out if it's something that I really wanna keep and continue to have in my collection. It does look very, very dark. I don't remember when I got this or how I got this or why I got this, but let's just start. I'm not really um, contouring, just kind of bronzing up so it might be at a different angle, but my camera did finally die. So let me finish doing my um, bronzer. So I'm just kind of putting it all around the perimeter. I have a very um, high hairline or thin hairline because of the hair loss that I'm still trying to grow back. So I try to fill in that area. It's mostly on my peaks. Is that what that would be called? I don't know. I just like with a bronzer, you don't have to be so precise like you do with a contour. I like this side better. This side's not, looks muddy and dirty. Well, it looks dirty on the camera, not so much in real life, but I don't know. We can take a, this is my, the, the brush that I used to set my face. So it, I didn't add any more powder to it, but all right. There we go, bronzer done. The blush that I'm using is my Tarte Energy Blush, Tarte Amazonian Clay in Energy. That's the color. So this is supposed to change to match the perfect, I don't know if those ever work. I always buy into it thinking it will, and I swear they don't. But I do absolutely love this brush. It does have a lot of kick up. But I think most of the, at least I think, or I have found most of the Tarte blushes that I use do kind of have a lot of kick up. And I don't find them extra long wearing. I guess I've never really paid attention. Maybe I'll have to do that this week. Pay attention and see if I do feel like they are there at the end of the day. Cause I don't feel like blush stays on me all day. Like I do. Um, bronzer I can sometimes see at the end of the day, but I really feel like blush doesn't, um, I don't see it. So there is my blush. Highlighter. I actually had two in my weekly makeup basket, but one is a cream, so I'm not going to use it. I just said a bit before I did all my face stuff is that I didn't have any cream products, but I do have one cream highlight, but I'm using the powder one. This is the Dior, uh, Dior Nude Air Luminizer in 001. So I guess there's no color. It got major hard pan. Can you see that? I, I hate that, but it still works really well. I feel like I can still 
it doesn't make it hard to get that glow. Let's see. I mean, you can still totally see it, and it, it, like, it like it doesn't make it hard to pick it up. Like I feel like some hard pans do do that. They make it you can't really get any product up once it hits that hard pan. And I always keep adding it till I can see it, and then it's always too much. So we'll have to. I'll have to see, but I know I don't need any more. It just blends in. I mean, with how much I just put on, it just blends into the skin beautifully. I'm going to go do my brows. I'll be back. I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and their brow gel. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so I have my eyebrows on, and let's get going on to the next thing. So I'm going to do my eyeshadow. Today I'm using my Tom Ford quad this is in the coco mirage this is my one of my holy grail eyeshadow palettes i feel like it i can't go wrong when i use it it just has four very neutral colors i use all of them rarely do i use this one it's kind of a little more satin the rest are very matte but they're beautiful and i'm just going to do an easy look just not trying to do anything fancy today I know it's very boring but I'm just yeah I don't know I did a look yesterday using the pillow talk palette that's the other um, palette that I have in my weekly makeup basket and it turned out very nice it does it is very pink I think um, and then this one is very brown so I thought between these two I have a very neutral choices this week but so I'm just putting the lighter brown color in my crease just this is probably the best I feel like it takes like no work to get these to blend out they're just amazing I'm gonna go a little bit on the bottom lash line just with my big fluffy brush all right so I have that in the crease I will darken it up a little bit. Do I want to do that first? Maybe I'll do that first. I'm going to do that first. Okay. So I'm going to use, so I used this color in my crease. I'm going to use now this color in my V outer area, and then I'll put this lighter color on my lid. So like I said, it's a very... It's a typical look that I do. So as you can see, like no work to get that to blend out. I mean, it, seriously, it looks like I spent forever trying to blend this out. Hopefully it looks that way. Sometimes I watch back my get ready with me and I'm like, ugh, that's not blended. We all have days when our makeup doesn't look perfect and every it's, it's it's every day it's normal it's every day it's every day for me I look crazy every day all right now I'm going to pick up the white color it's like a like a cream I mean it's definitely off-white it's not really white but it's not really like beige it's like a it's a light, little bit lighter than my skin tone I would love to pick up one of these quads again someday they're just so expensive but they do last forever I mean I've had this quad for probably five years maybe should you I don't know if you're supposed to keep it that long but paying like I can't remember I know it's under a hundred bucks but I want to say it's like 75 or 80 bucks something like that for these palettes no way I'm gonna throw them out after a year I think that's just silly whether you have the money to do that or not but I don't have the money to do that. So I'm kind of putting it um, in my, out here, you know, just to kind of brighten up a little bit. Not really, I don't really want it to shine like I would with an inner corner highlight, but just to lighten a little bit. So that is the Coco Mirage palette. If I had someone ask me what palette to get, price doesn't matter between this one and the pillow talk, probably this one even more so than the pillow talk i would say get this because it it's it's it is beyond good it is not like 
I love Hourglass and I know I got that expensive palette that I think is great, but you can get similar looks as that, as that face palette. I feel like these shadows are just unbelievable that even if you don't get the same color story that I got, he has tons, I mean like 15 different color quads, you know. They, they are just unbelievable. They're unbelievable. If I could own them all, I probably would. But I chose to have children instead of makeup. <laughs> okay, do I wanna do liner? I did kinda drag both those brown colors under my lash line. So I, I haven't done liner in so long. Maybe I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do the Bobbi Brown, you know, liner on my corner, my waterline or tight line, but I think I'm gonna use this Milani Stay Put, which I think it's running out. I'm just gonna do just a thin line on the upper lash line. So let's see if I can do it. So I don't know if you can see a difference. Probably not, can I? The slightest, because I didn't go very far in. I feel like this can sometimes give you the same cat eye effect without doing a cat eye because I can't for the life of me but if I just do a little bit thicker liner and then have it you know get smaller but I stop before I get to the halfway point it can kind of give that lifted look I don't know maybe I'm in maybe I see things but all right so let's do a mascara I'm just going to use my lash princess I know, I'm very boring. I did use the Tarte one a lot last week instead of this one because I knew my Allure box was coming and I wanted to try it. So I haven't used this in a week and oh, I do really like it, but it does get all over me every time I use it. I am just so clumsy, I think. I don't curl my lashes. Let me know if you do. I don't know if I need to start I don't know how to tell. How do you tell if you need to or not? Is it like obvious? Like I would obviously know I need to, to curl them. I don't know. I don't even own a lash curler. I have bought a few in the past. Like when I was in high school, I know I had one and used it. And I think I've had one as an adult, but it, it's been many years. I will say I need to figure out when to stop doing layers of this because once I, I get I get it to the almost good spot and then I do no layer and it's clumpy. Okay, just to go easy, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals um, Boss. This is the, what are these called? It doesn't have the name on it, but it's like their liquid lipsticks but they are so great. They are not drying at all. So there's that color, so much better. This is my Get Ready With Me using my weekly makeup basket. Let me know if you've used any of these products and what you think. I think it turned out, I mean, it's a very simple everyday look, something that I would generally wear every day. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.